Hello there, and welcome to Medieval 2, the sequel to the first Medieval game taking place centuries ago in whatever, now setting in London, 18th century. So this is exactly like the first game, but with some different improvements and whatnot. So we're going to go into what's going on here and see. Well, this is a pretty nice opening, though. But yeah, this is exactly like the first game, but some improvements and all that. And that's the same skeleton from the first one as well. And this train. But yeah, we're going to go into this place and see what the whole deal is. And before we do anything else, make sure you leave a com a like if there's anything interest you. Comment down below and subscribe. Please do that. And be sure to press that notification bell if there's anything you want to be notified. I'm a bit slow, eh? And my goal is to reach 100 subscriber. So with that out of the way, let's begin in Medieval 2. Alright, so I'm back from the dead again. And looks like I have glove this time. Sir Daniel Fortescue, back from the dead once again. The great hero of Galamere reduced to a dusty relic at the back of the old museum. Well, things have changed since you've been away. It's a new world, but with the same old problems. So find yourself a weapon and get ready for a scrap. Oh, and if you see my spectral trail, stand in the light and press action to summon me. Alright, so it looks like we're in the Museum of London. And yeah, it's the same thing as the first game. But I just don't remember wearing gloves at that time. So... Yeah, I'm gonna have to find myself a weapon. Let me see what this says. Legend Knight Sardin Hasiku, born around two f 1215, died 1286 at the Battle of Gamera. Hold up, sorry. Legend has that uh, after defeating the evil Sardin Sarak, it was from the dead and essentially destroyed Sarak once again for all. It says that time has great need when he return free and land from evil. Alright, so I'm not going to be reading as much text as I can, but I'll just let you read it and pause. So, yeah. It's been a while since I've been playing this. Let me see. Let me just find myself a sword. There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to have to find another area. Yeah, I've been playing this. And I can't remember where I have to go. It's been a while though. Oh, and yes, the chalice is back. So, just like before, you're going to have to collect 100 spirit to collect the chalice. And there's that key. Now there are rumors that they're going to make a sequel remake for this. Similar to the other one that they made a remake for the first game. Okay, going here. And we got ourselves these guys I remember being tough you know I don't think it's that tough let me try something and just circle around there we go and I found these energy vial
as well as a pistol. These old fashioned pistol. And I found this Spectre thing, so let's see what he has to say. As well as an inventory, you've got two weapon slots. Select your weapon, then use the stick or directional buttons to select the slot it should go in. Once both slots are full, L1 plus square switches weapons without going back to your inventory. Should make killing things much more fun. Thank you, Casper's cousin. So now you can use the weapon slot to switch easier. Or you just go select and exchange it for this. Simple as that. Alright, let's see where it, this takes me. Another one. Let's see what he has to say again. If you equip the shield from your inventory, triangle becomes defend. You can use it with the daring dash for when things get really airy. It's got a limited amount of strength, so use it sparingly, or it'll be you that gets a battery. <laughs> yeah, thank you again. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've done a video of this. I was doing some work, helping my brother move out because he bought a house and all. And he also starts a new business, clothes business, so I've been helping out a little bit throughout the... Feeling croggy, Dane? Let me remind you about some of the finer points of combat. Press triangle to duck. If you press triangle whilst running, you'll do a daring dash. Combine this with jump for a super jump. Try it. I'm already aware of that. So, yeah. I've been doing a lot of stuff helping out a family member, my brother, get a new house. So I've been out all this time. And it's pretty simple i've been doing a lot of trying to sell some clothes for him and try to all that stuff and i cannot speak because i'm too focused on what's going on here if you see walls like this that look like you can climb them you probably can use them to get to new areas and this is a new feature climbing mechanic you see a ladder here you can just climb up What's this? And I believe we found a new enemy. These weird looking chicken things. And I hear some health thing. Oh, and they breathe fire. There we go, all done. And I believe this is supposed to be the first boss that we're going to have to fight later on. So anyway, I've been helping my brother in his closing business, trying to fold it in all that stuff so we can sell it. It's pretty good money making. But enough said, I've already got the money speaking of which, so let's just keep on going. And these look, guys looks like they're the mannequin display for the museum. I don't think they're real. I'll just take care of these guys. I'm gonna try using the rifle. Okay, that's not pretty fun. And I kind of remember that there are more of these things running around, so let me just take care of this first. And there's a cannon, I'll just get to it later. That's one. There we go. I don't think they're bothering me anymore. 
Now let's see what this ghost has to say. Eh, I can't s try to move around. There we go. This crafty scoundrel is the spiv. He'll provide you with nearly everything you'll ever need at a hefty price. Press action to select him. All right, that was a terrible, sh terrible shot that I was trying to make an angle. But over here, this is the spiff, similar to the gargoyle from the first game. When you have gold, you can just use it to buy stuff, as this ghost says. Let me see what he has. Uh, I'll just save it for later. Not right now. And you know what? Let me try to fix something here. Just give me a moment, please. Alright, I was trying to do some adjustment with the sounds, but fortunately, unfortunately I can't fix the camera angle. It's just stuck like that. Anyway, so there's a cannon right there, so you're going to have to find a cannonball and something to light it up. And there's a um, display room here and the garden over there, so let's just try going in over here. Oh, great. I'm gonna take care of these guys before taking hit with the other one. There we go. Almost gonna die. That's not good. And I haven't used my shield too, so that's another problem. You know, I'm just gonna skip him for now. Deal with him later. Just a little bit longer. There we go. And I keep forgetting to use the shield since I'm dealing with these guys. There we go. On every level you'll find a chalice. It fills with the souls of the vanquished. Dispatch enough enemies to collect it. Okay. Thank you for reminding me, even though I already know this. Let's just go back and take care of that knight over there. Oh, he's still alive without any legs. There we go. Now let's get the chalice. And we got ourselves the chalice of soul. So we can... That will give us an access for our new weapon. Most similar to the first one. You will have to go to the Hall of Heroes, but... Likely that's different. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to go back and find this cannonball. There it is. I didn't check well, so... Yeah. Now we can just put it there. And the cho torch. Now let's light this up. 
And we're already done. Let me just switch my... Hold up. There we go. And of course, this is going to be a bit... The loading time is a bit slow, so... That's just going to be a pain to deal with. Okay, the Great Kraken. That could smash a... Some still have the... Great Beast. Fisherman Philip and Kaya calls this experiment. 1774. And look what else I found. Well, let me take care of these guys first. You see, I haven't even bothered using the shield. There we go. Now look who has found. None other than Zarok, the sorcerer. Let's see what he this has to say. Despite assuming many monsters formed, the evil Zar sorcerer Zarok was repugnant and coward. Let's have that the great knights of Dan Fossil Q vanquished this creature in 1383. Okay, so even if he did defeat him, I don't remember him exploding in the cutscene we just found because he exploded from that point on when he defeated him and tried to destroy the castle, having that pillar crushing him instead of impaling him with that thing and dying like that. But let's not get into that too many detail. Let's just continue on. And I need the dinosaur key. Let's just climb up and get that. And there it is. Just gather as much as I can of the treasure. And yes, this thing, every time I go through a level, just slows down the loading process. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing some editing there from here on. See what I mean? This thing again. Almost looked like a xenomorph. But basically it's supposed to be a dinosaur. Pro probably a triceratop with a different dinosaur body. I'll just take care of these guys. And that door over there is open for us. Now, in this area, we're going to have to come back later because we can't get through it. Let me just gather enough stuff here before we go anywhere else. And this thing's right, we can't barely get over there. At least not right now. We're just gonna have to come back later. But right now I'm thinking we're about to meet up with our first boss fight real soon. There we go. Alright Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I think I will. Thank you for pointing that out. Winston, I think his name was. That's his name, whatever. One, Dan. If you meet that monster, don't be too scared. Look for his weak point. Don't let things get on top of you. Get on top of them. Afterwards, I'll take you to meet me, boss. All right. So we're gonna have to find. Let's just check around here first before we go closer to the boss. 
or not. And there are bones scattered here and there. This is supposed to be a, I believe, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but doesn't look anything like it. I had to silence this for a moment. Now, the weak spot, you just have to wait it out. And the weak spot is right over there, on top of the dinosaur's head. So just hit it. It's very simple. So once he try to hit you and attack you, you just have to wait until it, the weak spot comes back. Just repeat again. So basically, as I remember, this boss has two form. One which is this one and the other that can fly. So just wait it out and all that. There it is. I'm just dodge these guys. And that takes care of the second first phase. The second phase is next. Luckily, I'm safe in here. So in the next one, you're gonna have to use your gun, your pistol. Right there. Now let me just get some money and buy something from this guy. That's good. Kind of reminds you of the um, Salesman, that guy from Resident Evil 4. And what's this? Okay, I'm wrong one. You know what? Let me just come back to you later. Alright, so just like before, you're gonna have to shoot in the weak spot. Just let's dodge him from the fire. And that's the um, Q. So just keep shooting him until he's already down. Of course, you're gonna have to deal with these things coming back and forth. Okay, I got stuck there. And from the looks of this, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a very short video. <laughs> but yeah. Where I can shoot him. And we're done. Okay, so now we defeated the first boss. We can meet up with the um, Winston's boss, whoever he's talking to. I'm just going to this area first. And I fell down. And I got myself the life bottle, first one. Now let me just read what that thing says. Dinosaur display, recently advice and technology has been allowed to use the reactor, etc, etc. 
Many of these giant creatures stood on tall as a whole house, their brains as small as a racket in it. Of course, this seems more like a dragon than a dinosaur. Alright, just follow that thing. And let's get out of here to meet whoever Winston is talking about. Alright, so we're in the professor's lab, which I'm guessing that's Winston's boss. And we already have the chalice, so we're going to go get the new weapon. But first, let's talk to this guy, the professor. And yes, the camera angle seems a bit off. Ah, well done, Winston. I see you managed to find him after all. Fortress skill. Pleased to meet you. I should imagine that you are a little nonplussed as to what exactly is going on, eh? Ah, ah. Well, allow me to introduce myself. Professor Hamilton Kifton, magician, inventor, and master of the occult at your service. If you're wondering what you're doing once again walking the earth, it appears that someone has got their hands on the legendary Zarok spellbook. Zarok. Oh, no. Well, people like myself have been searching for that book for centuries. The power within its pages, oh. Well, last year, certain pieces of the book turned up, and this is the result. Total chaos. First, we have to find the extent of the damage, don't we? I myself am imprisoned in this god-awful pit without any power. Top priority is to get this place into suitable shape to start waging a little guerrilla war. <laughs> has Winston told you about connecting magic? He has. Oh, good, good. Well, uh, off you go then. Select where you want to go on the projector over here. Also, uh, if you connect the chalice, I should be able to reward you with a new weapon. You can collect this off me here. All right, so let's get our weapon, whatever it is. Cane stick, sir? No modern knight should be seen without one. Cane stick, sir, indeed. All right, so we got our new weapon, the cane stick. Let's just see what this does. Let me see. All right, somehow it did that, but we're going to have to um, save that for later. So I'm guessing this is the new hub of this entire, instead of having that map, it's the professor's laboratory or something. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to save this for later in another video. I told you that was going to be quick. So thank you again for watching my video. And as I said before, leave a like if there's anything that interests you, comment below, subscribe, and press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.